We'll begin where everyone begins, setting up the software. One of our original design goals for T-Tools Cloud was to eliminate as much of the front end setup as possible so that you can get in and start quoting as quickly as possible. To do that, we came up with a two-step onboarding process. In the first step, we're going to ask you to provide us information about your company. This includes company name, logo, as well as a primary address. In the second step, we'll ask you to tell us about your business. This is a little different. Here, we're going to ask you questions about your primary industry, number of employees, typical project type, and more. And we're going to use this information to automate a personalized setup process. In addition, on this screen, you have the first opportunity to take advantage of our SnapAV promotion. When signing up with a SnapAV S code, you'll have access to a 90-day trial, 150 products curated from SnapAV's product line, as well as your dealer cost. In this final screen, you will be shown all of the things that we are setting up in the software on your behalf. Again, all of this is driven by the answers you provided to the questions in the previous step. Once the setup is complete, you'll be redirected to DTools Cloud and your dashboard. Here you'll find our fresh new modern interface where we've included two different types of in-app guidance. The first will come in the way of tooltips, which will appear for first time users over in specific areas of the application to help guide you from the initial opportunity that you create all the way through to presenting your first proposal. In addition to that, if for some reason you get lost along the way, have questions or would like to provide feedback, we have our in-app chat provided in the bottom right-hand corner of the application. Here you can quickly reach out to us and provide feedback on the software as well as get answers to any of the questions that you might have along the way. On the dashboard, you will find information about your opportunities. Opportunities is a new concept in DTools Cloud, and these opportunities represent all of the projects that you are current pursuing and haven't won yet. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll find a card that lays out every one of your opportunities against the sales lifecycle that you've defined. On the right-hand side, you'll find all of your recent quotes. This is a quick way for you to jump back in on a quote that you may have been working on just a little while ago. Closing this week are all the opportunities that you said you were going to close this week but haven't quite gotten over the goal line. This is a good nag for you to jump back in and maybe reach out to your customer or finish that quote that you haven't quite completed yet. Activity is where you'll find all of the coming and going of the folks who are collaborating on your opportunities. This is a good way for you to keep on top of significant changes, new quotes being created, and other contributions while you're away. Opportunities is where you will manage all of the projects that you are currently pursuing. Each one of these gray bars represents a stage in your sales life cycle. Each one of the white cards represents an opportunity. By dragging and dropping one card from left to right, I can communicate to everyone on my team where this opportunity is in the sales life cycle. This is also the first instance of some of our workflow automation taking shape. Here, dragging from initial meeting to quoting has increased the probability that I will win this opportunity. Clicking on an opportunity will find all of the details for that opportunity. On the left-hand side, I can associate an account, the owner, contacts, budget, important attachments, estimated close date, project timeline, as well as a site and billing address. On the right-hand side, we have our timeline feature. This allows you to keep track of all of your internal communication, including both notes and tasks, as well as a way of keeping track of any significant activity. As you'll see here, we've got a timestamp for when the estimated close date was changed. Up above, we have quotes, and this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you add items to a bill of materials, manage locations and systems, and ultimately create the scope of work that will be used to generate your proposals. A quick note here is that every opportunity can have more than one quote. Some of our customers use this for good, better, and best scenarios, or they use this for keeping a historical record of quotes that went out, came back, 
were modified and then went back out again. Our coding interface has all of your locations and systems listed on the left hand side. Each location and system is made up of several sections. The very top we have items, and this is where you can add items to your bill of materials. I can simply run a search, and I will see results both against my catalog as well as the DTools results. Catalog items are those items that I've either created myself or have pulled in from the library in the past. All the DTools results are those items that are collected by DTools on your behalf and are quickly accessible in this bottom section. They include and top level information like images, brands, models, as well as a short description, all so that you can get in and start quoting. Each item in your bill of materials can be edited by simply clicking on it. On the right hand side of your screen, a sidebar will appear, and this is where you can edit all of the quote specific information about that item. This includes family room, location, adjusting the system, as well as making modifications to any pricing and labor. We talked to our customers and what we found is that the bill of materials doesn't always tell the complete story of the scope of work. So in addition to items, each location and system can have its own description. In this description, you can define a scope of work for that specific location. This is a description that is then shown on the proposal and is a good way for you and your customer to make sure that you're on the same page. Attachments is where you can add attachments to this location. This can be job site photos, it can be videos, and other assets that help tell the story of the scope of work for this particular location. Last is the timeline. Like the opportunity before it, this is where you can add notes, as well as tasks to keep track of all of your internal communication. Attachments is an area where you can upload various types of files to your quote that may be better suited here rather than in locations or systems. In addition to being able to upload files, you can also create a new type of file that we've introduced and are really excited about called whiteboards. Whiteboards is our new browser-based drawing platform that allows you to document details of your design right in the browser. Here, I can upload any image to the whiteboard drawing surface, as I've done by way of example here with a floor plan. To design my system, I can use the Add Items pane, which will allow me to drag and drop items from my design directly onto the drawing surface. In addition to being able to add items from my quote, I can also add items to my quote by performing a search like I did in the quoting interface and dragging and dropping those results onto the whiteboard. This will automatically add them to my bill of materials and allow me to continue to design the system on the fly. In addition to being able to add items, I can also use some of the markup tools that we've provided to document additional details about this particular design. In addition to being able to annotate through ink, I can also include things like text. Leaving whiteboards, I'll now go over to the reports tab. At this point, we've built out of scope of work by adding items to a bill of materials in the locations and systems. I've then used whiteboard to do some design validation and to ensure that I have all of the appropriate products in the right place. And now I'm using the reports tab in order to ensure that the budget that I've assembled as a part of that process matches up with my customer's expectations. Here, I can see a number of different metrics about how my budget came to be. I have breakdowns both on the materials for the products themselves, which I can look at in a few different ways, including locations, systems, as well as phases. Additionally, I can see similar breakdowns for labor, in this case, starting with types, then moving on to locations, systems, and phases. In both of these areas, I can add an adjustment if I need to massage the numbers to get the budget right where it needs to be. When all of this is said and done, I can get to the most important part of all of this, which is getting my proposal in front of my customer. We provide two different ways to share your proposals, both of which allow you to present a proposal that is web-based. Using a web-based proposal affords us the unique opportunity to do things that we couldn't quite accomplish with a printed document. 
I think one of the best examples of that is our gallery section. In the gallery section, you can include images, videos, as well as 360 degree images to document all of the projects that you've done in the past, include a video of your company and why you're the best integrator for their project, and make each one of these images or videos actionable so that when clicked, your customer can be redirected to your very own website to perhaps a about me page or a gallery of past projects that you've worked on. Below our gallery, you then begin to see a location system breakdown. Here are all the items that you've included in your quote laid out, in this case, in a grid view. As I scroll down, we'll see some of the additional sections in our proposals, the next of which is our summary section. This will give you a basic breakdown of the materials and labors and the, in the total of the entire project itself. At the very bottom, we have our payment terms. At the very end of all of our proposals, we hope that your customers will use this next green button to accept and sign this proposal. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of DTools Cloud. Head on over to DTools.cloud to start your trial today.